So guys, in this next story, a man, Jamie Crosby, who's 48 years old, used two knives and a saw to kill a father of three, Dean Alsop, stabbing him 17 times in their streets in Thorpe St. Andrew, near Norwich, after hearing engine noise from Mr. Alsop's son's motorbike. Two women who tried to help the 41-year-old Mr. Alsop, his partner and a neighbour, was also attacked by Crosby. And the murder victim's partner has said that the killer must never be released after he was jailed for 28 years for stabbing his neighbour to death. So Mr. Alsop was pronounced dead at the scene at 8.18pm on April the 14th last year. His partner said in a victim impact statement read to the court, I will never forgive Crosby for what he did to my family. And she added, I hope he is never released. The judge, Anthony Bates, told Crosby, I regard you as a very dangerous man. He sentenced Crosby to life in prison with the minimum term of 28 years, which is the amount of time he must serve behind bars before he can be considered for release. The defendant stared straight ahead through Wednesday's sentencing hearing, bouncing his left knee up and down and he showed no reaction as he was led to the cells. Crosby was found guilty of murdering Mr Alsop following an earlier 12-day trial. He was also convicted of the wounding with intent of his partner and neighbour and he admitted three counts of possessing an offensive weapon. The prosecutor said that Crosby had previously been convicted of causing actually bodily harm in 2013. On that occasion, Crosby punched a security guard at a job centre where he had gone to complain about his benefits entitlement and he was asked to leave. Crosby was convicted in 2018 of criminal damage and possessing a knife over an incident when he threatened Mr Alsop with a knife and hammer after Mr Alsop put some rubbish in his wheelie bin. The barrister said Crosby had made threats to his supervising probation officer to kill Mr Alsop while he was serving a suspended sentence for the 2018 offence. Prosecutor said there can be no dispute that at the time of the murder Crosby was suffering from a mental disability which was described by a psychiatrist as delusional disorder. He said it did not extinguish the defendant's culpability. Police released body cam footage of his arrest which showed his reaction being told that the victim was dead and he was facing a murder charge. He said, that makes me happy, that's a good thing, that's the best news I've ever had. The video also showed Crosby with blood all over him and officers are asking him to kneel on the floor. Senior investigating officer, Detective Chief Inspector Phil Gray from the Norfolk and Suffolk Major Investigation Team said, this was a cold-blooded attack by a man intent on causing extreme harm to others. Dean suffered 17 stab wounds to his body, some of which were inflicted when he was lying face down and motionless. Crosby's savage attack didn't stop there. He stabbed two people who had come to help Dean, one suffering a bleed to her neck. Crosby is an extremely violent man who has no place in society and we welcome the jury's verdict today. So the prosecutor previously said that Mr Alsop and his son Mikey were Keen motorcyclists and occasionally they would tinker with their motorcycles at home. The sound of the motorcycle engine in a residential area can occasionally, like many other things, cause some annoyance to other residents and such minor issues between neighbours can be resolved amicably with some give and take on both sides. The prosecution's case is that on the day the defendant allowed himself to become annoyed by the noise of the motorcycle engines and he was not prepared to deal in any amicable way with that issue. The prosecutor said Crosby stabbed Mr Alsop to death and when Mr Alsop's partner and their friend and neighbour tried to prevent their neighbour from killing Mr Alsop, the defendant attempted to murder those two women by stabbing them as well. The prosecutor said that on that day in question the engine of Mikey Alsop's motorbike didn't sound very good at all. So Mr Alsop asked a friend, a motorcycle mechanic who had lived on the road at that time to listen to it. He was listening to the engine of Mikey's bike by some garages and the engine was running for no more than a couple of minutes when it was switched off but that was enough to attract the attention of the defendant. He said Crosby stuck up his middle finger at the three men from a window in his house, swore at them and said he couldn't hear his television. The prosecutor said Crosby swore again and told Mr Alsop, come and get me, to which Mr Alsop did not react but instead began to dial 999. The prosecutor said Crosby then came out of his house holding a saw in one hand and a kitchen knife in the other. He then began to chase Mr Alsop. At some point Mr Alsop, took off and threw his crash helmets at the defendant. He said Mikey, his son, ran home and returned with a knife to try and protect his father and by that time, by the time Mikey returned, Mr Alsop had been stabbed. Prosecutor said Mikey heard his father say he's killed me. Son began to cry and he hit the defendant with a knife and Mikey then ran home to get his mother. Crosby broke the sword during the attack on Mr Alsop, the prosecutor said, and went home to get a second knife. 
Guys, that's some real sad news coming from Norwich Ways. I just want to say rest in peace, Dean Alsop, and my condolences go out to your family. It's your boy GC. Keep it locked, keep it real.